Good afternoon. Here we are, about to change, attempt to change the uh, oil and the oil filter on this uh, 2005 2 litre petrol Mazda Bongo Aero City Runner. Um, we haven't done this before. As you can see, I've already put it up on ramps because so, uh, I think I need to move the uh, take a cover off underneath before we can start. I have here oil, oil filter from uh, Bongo Spares, part of the service kit. Going to capture the oil in here. Um, first off, let's put chocks on the back. Chocks. Because it's on an angle on the, uh, on the ramps, this presumably will help avoid it. Rolling away. We're going to remove the console in the centre here so we can uh, see the engine underneath. Handy socket set. Seems to be 10 millimeter. Oh, excuse me. This is going to be fun, isn't it? How many of these are going to willingly come out? Uh, this one seems okay so far, but it will be the last one. It's always the last one. I, can, uh, I know what you're thinking as well. This is man needs an impact wrench. <sighs> no one wants to be uh, doing this by hand now. But remember in the old days they did it with spanners, didn't they? Now we've got, well, I'm at the level of uh, sockets. <laughs> Um, but where you really want to be is using a drill. Some of these have got bolts behind, so that's going to make it even more fun. But what else would you rather do on a Saturday? This is what we ended up with, um, which is uh, sort of reasonable condition, I suppose. Uh, it's got a bit of a hole in it, and um, for the sake of lessons learned, it's worth having two people here. Gravity is quite reliable, so of course, when you do take the last bolt off, it will land on your head. Hey ho, let's see what is revealed. Uh, so as you can see, you can uh, you can now see straight through to the ground. Uh, it's revealed a whole bunch of stuff, which is generally quite oily, but thankfully not looking too rusty. From underneath here, I would say our bongo is looking pretty clean on the whole. No. Nothing to be terrified about. The under seal needs uh, <coughs> redoing, but it all looks good. It is a bit oily, the old engine, I will say, and it was losing oil, and you can see. And that, um, I think I can see somewhere up top where it's um, uh, leaking a bit. I might try and bodge that. But anyway, here we are. This here, I believe, is our sump plug. The fact I've got the plan up on ramps, as you can see, um, is that going to drain okay? I mean, it's on the drive, which is sloping downwards anyway. So it's only slightly off level. The plug's very low. Um, I'd rather keep it on the ramps because um, I want to... It's nice to be able to see how tighten up the bolt properly after it's empty. I'm not going to move it once it's empty. Does that make sense? A little bit of rust there as well. And don't yes, I did paint the exhaust manifold. Um, driver's side, there is our oil filter. 
and I had, I had a go at it a minute ago. Can't do it with the phone in my hand, but it does. It does turn, and I've checked the sump uh, nut turns as well, so I think we're all good. Um, I'm going to warm the engine up so that the oil flows freely. Purrs like a kitten with warm types. And I've got a bit of a squeak from a belt somewhere. Funny little, I'm sure you can't really see it. Funny little belt combination down there. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just uh, uh, let it warm up for a minute and then we'll drain the oil. Definitely a bit squeaky, isn't it? Looks like there's at least two belts there going backwards and one of them goes backwards forwards all over the place. Um, any ideas on that? Uh, you let me know. Big plastic tub thing underneath here. That's uh, where it's going to be. It takes five litres, I believe, two litre petrol bongo. Now, I have to know mine is pretty low on oil, which is why I uh, got around to doing this. I shouldn't have let it get low on oil, but I did. So, um, good time to change it anyway. So, I'd have to think how little is actually going to come out of here. My assistant has uh, gone off to watch telly, so uh, that's why I'm holding the camera myself now. 19 millimeter bolt. Hopefully there's some oil in here somewhere. Oh, and there it is. And it's all. And it comes all over my hand. Nice and warm. And Hopefully, not going all over the driveway. Sort of quite relaxing watching that. Don't know if it's a good idea to take the oil cap off to, um, you know, release any pressure as it comes out. I don't suppose it makes much difference. Always good to have a look under here though anyway. Um, you know, if you ever see white gunk under there, um, can be a sign of problems, can be a sign of water mixing with the oil. So I'm told. Wipe my hands and we'll see if we can get this filter off. I believe there's all kinds of tutorials online of what to do with a stuck oil filter going from the less to the more aggressive and destructive. Um, I bought a little thing for a motorbike, um, which I just checked, but it doesn't fit on here. It's a kind of wrench with these. This has little indents around it. But anyway, I've, I better fit all this on, and it, they don't need to be tight. You know, they can, typically they can be done by hand. And uh, especially if they've been done regularly and not put on by an idiot. Um, so this one comes off easy and more oil dribbling all over the place. Uh, this I will <clears throat> empty out the oil that's in it into the pot before disposing. And um, yeah, there's still uh, oil and dripping down. I think I misled you earlier when I said I got this from uh, Mazda, uh, from Bongo Spares. It looks like it uh, actually came from uh, MazdaBongo.com, I believe. Uh, here's the new oil filter. I didn't, re uh, it didn't come with a sump plug. Um, does come with a new washer, which looks a little different. Um, I panicked that I'd lost it first in the big box of stuff, but it's sellotaped to the oil filter, which I guess makes sense. Um, yeah, they're a bit different, but whatever. My old sump plug 
uh, looks like it's seen better days, but um, um, it should be alright for a while. It's a blueprint, whoever they are. Plastic cover on the bottom, I, I expect I need to take off. Um, and uh, I'm just going with the instructions it's got here. Apply a thin film of clean engine oil to the seal, which will be, uh, well, there's a rubber seal under there once I get under the plastic. Screw on the filter until the seal contacts, until, yep, until the seal is in contact, then tighten by three quarters to one turn. Fill the engine with the correct quantity of oil, as opposed to a completely random quantity of oil. Run at idle for two to three minutes, check for leaks, adjust oil level. Um, all seems very reasonable. Once I've, um, I know my family want to use the uh, van tomorrow, so once I've uh, done the oil and everything, I will, um, uh, I will be taking it for a spin without the cover back on the bottom and um, see what kind of, um, you know, if there's any leaks or anything like that. Like I say, the engine is quite oily, so if I've got time, I'll, um, if I've got time, I'll give it a clean. Um, I do have the air filter, the fuel filter, um, spark plugs as well. Probably not going to do all that today. Here's the oil that they provided with it. Um, Tor 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 Tech. Never heard of them. Probably not what I would have uh, bought if I was getting it from the shop because I would look for a brand that I knew, but you know. Um, I don't know many brands, apart from just the obvious. So it's a semi-synthetic 10W-40. Um, just to let you know, we've had the van about a year and a half. When we got it, we did take it for a proper service and check. Complete check over by uh, the one and only Jake at Bongo Mad. If you do see this, Jake, I haven't fixed that little bit of rust, which I said I was going to do. I remember when you stuck the badge on. Yeah, so Jake sort of checked it all over when we bought it. He thought it was a great vehicle. But I'm keen to um, get to know it. Do this kind of stuff myself as far as possible. With the help of my kids, who um, have obviously disappeared. Sump plug. Very important thing, sump plugs. Where would we be without them? Um, as I'm going to put this back on, I'm going to be very careful with it. So, I've just cleaned it with my uh, spray bottle. Seems it's still dripping slightly under there. Yes, um, no reason not to do the oil filter first. So I've cleaned a bit around the uh, oil filter just with a cloth, not doing anything uh, too dramatic down there. But, uh, I've taken off the plastic cover. So the instructions say just to put some new engine oil around this seal. And here I have my new engine oil. They do say it's good to protect yourself from engine oil, I believe, particularly the um, old engine oil. Um, but I, you know, I don't, I don't get covered in this stuff all that much, so I am just going to dunk my finger in there. It's a clean finger. I'm not getting gunk into the uh, oil, not to be overly precious again. But um, well, I guess you know, I guess that's what they mean, isn't it? That one. Let's stick the lid back on here. Don't want anyone flying into there. So, in just gently. I just keep going. Oh, I've got very oily hands. <laughs> so I'd say, um, you know, that's that's the um, So I'll just tighten that. By, it says three quarters of a turn. Should be able to feel it. Um, I think three quarters of a turn is about all I could do on that, so that's fine. Um, I did notice. Um, 
I thought it emptied that. Uh, I did notice on the old one, it says, uh, don't put it in the bin. I can go down here with my uh, collection of um, old oily things to go to the tip. Along, of course, with our new old oil, which will be going to the tip. I will uh, funnel this into the empty container when I'm done. I very much doubt there's five litres in here, but um, it's not black black, it looks okay. Um, he said it was top quality oil that went in there last year. He said you'd be fine to leave it for two years, but I, I figure I'll... Uh, yeah. Tea's gone cold. Still dripping a little bit. Legs down. I sort of feel nervous about putting the uh, sump pod back on, I guess, cause, just because it's so important. Silly, really. But, um... Give it a quick wipe around here and then, uh... Stick the new... Uh, stick the plug back in. Well, it's back in. Um, I felt like I could keep tightening it, really. But I've got a terrible habit of threading, cross-threading and destroying bolts and threads and things, so I've stopped there. And I think you do, potentially, you crush the washer a little bit, I think, don't you? So, um, you know, there's some give there. Like I say, this bolt is a bit old. It's on. So, I'm just going to pour the new oil in. Uh, this is quite a yeah, big and chunky bottle. I think I'm going to uh, do it the slow way with the, the funnel. don't know what I last used the funnel for, so I have just cleaned that. And uh, I'll give it a go. don't think I can hold the phone whilst doing it, though. And there you go. Slight sudden, you know, anxieties that... Uh, um, I put the wrong amount in, or completely the wrong oil, and poisoned me one go. Um, how do I know it's supposed to be five litres? I'm not sure, but hey, I'm sure that's fine. Didn't spill a drop, apart from the uh, bits here, and uh, there's a bit on the carpet there. So yeah, you might not want to hold it over the carpet when, you, uh, when you're doing that. Cool. Don't forget to put the oil filler cap back on. Quick check around the other side, passenger side, because I uh, can't help myself. Um, see what the fuel level says, and it is registering as being somewhat overfilled at the moment. I am uh, not going to panic about that just yet. I, obviously, it is up on ramps, and... Um, and uh, I doubt the oil is well distributed yet. Uh, so, I mean, it does just say, you know, once you filled it, start it, run it for a couple of minutes and then check the level. That's what I'm going to do. Well, she starts. She runs. Don't want to burn myself. Um, I am... Uh, I don't think there's anything leaking out of there. Nothing cascading out of there. Let's see what happens next. Well, anyway, um, a closer look at the manual, which uh, um, I should do more often, suggests there's only a couple of um, 2.0 engines here, both of which says engine model FE. You see there? And according to the uh, service data, in same, we go down here, the FE engine, 3.9 litres, if you're doing the oil filter, less if you're not doing the oil filter. Um, 3.9, the 5 litres is for the J, 
five engine and I think they're all diesels, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, so um, clearly I have overfilled it. So um, I have drained a little bit out again. Silly, but there you go, <coughs> could be worse. Um, it remains for me to put this back on. And uh, you don't want to watch me do that. So I'll leave it there. If this has been useful, let me know. Good luck.